Star Fox 64 is a lot harder than I remember. I used to be able to get far in this game, but now I can't get past the fourth level. But with a little bit more practice, I should be able to beat the game again. But since I already beat the game when I had my N64, this doesn't have to be a snap judgment review. Star Fox 64 is the sequel to the SNES game of the same name. Without the 64, of course. The graphics look good for an N64 game, but they really look dated now. However, if the graphics in the original Super Mario Bros. taught us anything, it's that the graphics don't make the game. The gameplay does. And Star Fox 64 is filled with great gameplay. The controls took some getting used to, especially when you're used to the controls of the N64. I found the GameCube controller easier to use than the classic controller. Now the game is a basic shooter. You try and kill as many of the enemies as you can. You start out with an infinite single shot laser, but you can upgrade it to a double shot. They also give you a limited number of bombs that you can wipe out a large number of the enemies on the screen. The game has many different paths you can take to make your experience different every time. In order to take those different paths, you're gonna have to complete a certain objective in the level that you're playing. Each of the levels have two ways of beating it. You can get a mission complete or a mission accomplished. An accomplished path is usually accompanied by a harder level. Now the level designs are varied. You'll always be doing something different in every level. So it made every level exciting and fun to play. However, there was one one level where I could have sworn I've seen this exact scenario before. You had to destroy a bunch of enemy ships, then a mothership comes down to fire a destruction beam into a building. So you have to destroy its main weapon before it can take out the building below. Hmm, I just can't place where I've seen this before. Anyways, you're not always alone in your quest to save the world. You have three other teammates to help you in battle. Falco Lombardi, Peppy Hare, and of course Slippy Toad. One of the most hated characters ever. Maybe it's his annoying character voice. Not that I'm one to talk. Or maybe it's the fact that he's constantly needed to be rescued. Your teammates will help you in battle. Well, in theory they'll help you. Most of the time you'll just have to rescue them. There were quite a few voice clips in the game and with the exception of Slippy, they're done well. Slippy, watch out! Bogey on your tail! Whoa! Help me! Roll. One of the coolest parts of this game is that your ship can take damage, and you can see its wings getting broken off, and it can affect the way your ship flies. Also, sometimes the levels will go into an all-range mode, which is the part of the game where you can fly around freely in the area. In addition to the great single-player game, there is also a nice multiplayer game. You can play with up to three other players. It's just a basic dogfight, shoot the other guy down game. Star Fox 64 is the best Star Fox game in the series. You'll enjoy the fun level designs and varied replayability. So download it now.